I guess everyone now is pretty much pumped up for this new Death Note Netflix series that's coming out soon around the 25th of August this year. However, others have a pretty bad intake for it because of the fact that it's westernized. I mean, for me, from watching from the trailer, it looks alright. I'm gonna give it a go. People are already complaining about the fact that Light just looks like some emo kid and doesn't look like the pretty boy smartass that we know and love. And that L, well, doesn't look like L. I mean, they completely Americanized it. And yes, I know, it's a common thing for film industries to do that. Heck, I mean, there's already a Japanese live action of Death Note, and from what I've heard, the movie was pretty crappy. Now, I'm not being racist or anything like that, it's the fact of being true to its content. I mean, just fucking look at how they did the horrific live action film of Dragon Ball. Fuck me. Don't tell me that Dragon Ball is true to its content. It was the worst anime adaptation I've ever watched. And I feel that film industries fail to do this because of certain restrictions or difficulties of casting. We also see this in anime too, such as Free. In this scene, they got two Australian voice actors, and surprisingly, it's the best English dub I've ever watched in a sub. I'm Russell, glad to know you. And I'm Laurie. Rin's told us all about you. Nice to meet you. Compared to the others. I love the Lord, Jesus Christ. Let him be accused, O oh Lord, come, Amen. I don't watch free, by the way, I just know the scene. So it's just rare and difficult for studios to cast people to suitably play the role to maintain truth to the content, and also make it sound legit. Others that I should also mention are also like the new live-action film Ghost in the Shell with the character Matuko. I love Scarlett Johansson and she's a total bay, but the fact that Matuko is an Asian put a lot of fans off by it. The new Fumura Alchemist live action that's coming out soon is the same sort of reaction from fans too. Ed doesn't look freaking German. It looks weird. He just looks like a freaking cosplayer. I also think what Hollywood tends to do in their movies are to put famous actors to obviously popularize the film, just like what they did in The Ghost in the Shell. They did this also in the Great Wall of China movie with Matt Damon. Like, what the fuck are you doing here, man? This is China. This is also with the fucking Ant Man in the third installment. The first and second were quite historically accurate, however in the third one, they fucking put Mac Tyson in it! Yeah! Like what the fuck bro, what were you doing in there? Like for fuck's sake, I couldn't even take the movie seriously when he was in it. It was like a fucking comedy, <laughs> it was hilarious. So yeah, adaptations, the struggle. So from this new Death Note series, tell me what you think about it, whether it's capturing your attention or just playing out turning you off. I'm Kyo and I hope you enjoyed this video. Laters!